Hey, what is up, wizards? It's Iron here. In this video, we're gonna be working the really, 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 really cool feature on the uh, journey of building our Android AI app, which is deep learning face detection. Face detection using deep learning is by far the most accurate way that I've like uh, come across to do face detection. We're gonna learn how to do just that in this video. And before I start, you know, consider subscribing if you're enjoying this series and you would like to kind of let me know that. You know you like what we are doing here as well as you know smash that like button and if you'd like to support me some ways to do that are in the, are in the uh, description thank you so much if you do and without further ado now let's jump right into it so okay folks let's get right into it so since in this video we'll be doing the uh, deep learning face detection using a cafe model inside of uh, OpenCV we're gonna need its, you know, since it's a cafe model, we're gonna, we're gonna need its weights file as well as its uh, configurations file, which is, you know, the weights file is this lengthy name guy, uh, 10 megabytes of, of size cafe model file, and then its CFG file is the uh, deploy proto.txt. We can take a sneak peek into this guy. You can see here, you know, a bunch of uh, convolutional layers defined here, kernel sizes, padding, strides, you know, all the kind of normal stuff we'd expect to see in a kind of neural net. And, you know, if you think about it, uh, face detection is kind of like object detection, except, uh, you know, you have just one object, which is a face. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's kind of similar to all the other object detectors in that sense. So. I've put that inside of my uh, DNS folder here uh, in my, you know, on my phone. You know, if you remember, we have like this DNS folder here. So those files are there. And this article, oh gosh, um, this, <laughs> this video will be based in a big part on this awesome article from Adrian from PyImage Search, uh, which is, you know, about deep learning face detection with OpenCV, you know, a couple of months ago when I was uh, you know, trying to do face detection on Android, I read this article and, you know, did all the steps I needed to do in Python, and this video is basically my version of this code, how that code would be done in OpenCV in Java instead of Python, and also, you know, where there is, like, no NumPy, so it's, uh, yeah, so, you know, the tricky part is really that there is no NumPy in Java, and I'm gonna be showing you how to, you know, work around it and how to get everything going. You know, why not actually get our, ha our hands, uh, you know, d dirty now. So, yeah. So first, what we gotta do is to, you know, we'll have another button. Let's move this yellow guy here. Um, yeah. Let's move this ye yellow button a little bit. And let's add another button here so let me just turn off my, my mac for a moment so that you can actually see what's going on here so you can see here we'll you know, define all the relative layout stuff and we'll we'll name this button faces and what what it'll be doing on click will also be uh faces so yep put my mac back on here i am Still here, still haven't, you know, disappeared or something. So, here I've already defined uh, a few variables like start faces and first time faces. You know, it's the, st it's the stuff that we've already been through. So, you know, I didn't want to waste time on it. So, but just a couple of words, you know, all the typical stuff. When the user taps the button, we check. We essentially check. If the button wasn't active, if it wasn't active, we made, make it active. And if it's made active for the first time, we also launch the weights with it. So, yeah. And here, you know, if you remember, our files are named, you know, res model, deploy proto.txt pro in the genus folder in the external storage of our phones. And, yep, so I've just basically specified, specified the paths and define a variable name detector in of of a net class and gave it the proto, proto pass and the cafe 
weight path as well so yeah that's kind of how we launch this it's like pretty you know typical stuff if you are if you've been following the series so now let's get the cool part so all right um as you can see i've defined the uh very similar looking boolean variable to the uh, ones that we've been you know learning about in the previous video so now it's like start faces you know what we used to control the uh switch on and off of our neural nets on android and here like let's break down this code real quick so um first of all we convert the image from rgba to rgb typical stuff um, and and here's like some fun stuff in the preprocessing part because it's because because it like differs a lot from uh, what we've been doing with yellow so here as you can see we you know take the frame but the scale factor this time is one which means that you know when we have the color values of like um 255 uh say 100 and zero we we're we're not you know converting them to be one one point four and like zero like we leave them as their you know discrete values of pixels and yeah also then we resize the input image to be 300 by 300 pixels and we also do something interesting here we do uh mean subtraction which means that we subtract from uh each pixel from each uh, in this case um as you can see here like let me jump to the next guy here uh we swap red and blue channels so so the input image here will be will be in bgr we swap the red and blue channels and we subtract from the blue channel 100 you know this value 177 we subtract from the uh b from the green value and this guy from the red value now uh why are we converting the image to rgb and why why are we kind of converting into like rgb but then flipping it back to uh bgr i mean first of all because you know the net was obviously trained in bgr but why not you may ask you know have it be in bgr from like the first place and the reason for that is kind of in this case we can have it be in bgr and i would you know have it swap rb at false but in my you know in my code i also do then estimation of like age and gender and those networks in input uh, i think they input rgb values at least some of them definitely do so yeah i mean if you have like other networks that work in rgb you can leave it in with like rgb if you just want to keep it like as short as possible you may so I'll flip this guy to BGR and then just have this guy be at false. And crop is also false. We're not cropping the image. And here we define its, you know, bit type and stuff. So then, as you remember here, we've defined our detector to be this guy, class net, and, 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 and we give it the input uh, of the image blob and here you can see like the first kind of difference from uh from the yellow from the yellow code right because we're not specifying uh which uh output players we want to then examine and post process and get the data from in this case we're just in this case we're you know just getting the last unconnected layer because you know this phase detection model you know it's a obviously a lot smaller and it doesn't need to have like several uh output layers to be predicting the values on different scales so you know it's just one value here simpler for us and its detections will be equal now to its matrix of detection will be equal to you know detector that forward which is you know where we're forwarding the output to the network so here i take uh here I take the dimensions of the image, it's uh, col columns, which is kind of like it's uh, X values and it's rows, which are kind of like it's uh, Y values and it's threshold. The reason why I'm taking uh, these two guys is because here I have some uh, code that essentially 
I had some errors here and this is the code that basically makes sure that we're not drawing rectangles that go outside of the uh, borders of like an image which is pretty simple stuff and here we have our confidence threshold uh, through trial and error I found that 0.5% works good you now you can have it up to 0.8% if you want if you want like some real accurate detection here um, yeah but then it would be missing quite, quite a few faces so 0.5 works for maybe even 0.5 55 now let's uh let's be careful with this stuff so um here's some code that 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 essentially when i was trying to fig figure out this code uh what's happening with in this line this is kind of like the uh most important line here you know to be honest uh in NumPy, it was kind of simple. H how would we, you know, be extracting the outputs from a four-dimensional matrix? But here we gotta reshape it to be, you know, two-dimensional. Then it would be, you know, uh, uh, as we'll, you know, see below. But the fun part here is, you know, I found this line of code on a similar model uh, somewhere, like on GitHub. So yeah, it just just took you know quite some while for me to figure out how to do the basic stuff in the absence of numpy and you know java and stuff so so here here uh alike to the yellow version we iterate over the rows uh over the rows of our output matrix we get its confidence um we get its we get its confidence at the you know second position uh, it's the first position i think i think it's like the class value or something like that i don't really remember what, what the first value is but we're not, not going to be needing it uh really so the second the yeah so the second value there is you know it's confidence then all these other values here are you know, as you can see it's left top right button which is nice and yeah and then here's a couple of functions that make sure that we're not drawing the rectangles outside of the image and here you know as always we have a um, a function that will draw a rectangle for us you know and we give it a point of left up right button uh, we give it the nice uh, rg yellow color or uh, and thickness of two so let me just uh boot the app on my phone and we'll see how it works whether we you know uh whether we got it to work uh by the way here i also went went ahead and added uh, just like we did with yellow uh, a few lines of code here, which is uh, if camera view was disabled What may happen is that um, What may happen is that the weights may get loaded uh, out of you know the uh, RAM and so the whole thing may crash So here we basically say that you know if the screen was turned off and now it turned back on will and if start faces is active will basically load the model again, which is you know simple stuff and by the way now the app have finished loading so let's check it out let's check it out huh there is a bug so let's see what's wrong okay okay so i found the bug so okay was quite uh unthoughtful of me to just copy all the code so here of course we say that uh, I'm gonna read net from cafe read net what do you not read net from caf cafe all right <sighs> let's hold our breaths and hope that it'll work yeah but right now it's gonna should work
Okay, so we're doing some first tests. So let me pop up the camera view so that I could see a little bit of what's going on here. Okay, so yeah, it's working. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. So let me make the camera view a bit bigger. Just a little bit. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> we actually got this code to work. By the way, like this, like this is like deep learning uh, face detection. So it's a little bit slower than car cascades or stuff like that. Um, I've personally tried maybe before, you know, set, set on this way of detecting face. I've tried, you know, a couple of more uh, algorithmic and less deep learning ish ones, but you know, this one work works like most accurate and best from my experience and. You can kind of see that, you know, from like how little errors it does. You know, let's see if it'll actually, like, there are like smaller faces in this book. Let's see it'll, if it'll pick up on this, on this smaller faces. Yeah. It's also picking up on smaller faces. Oh, we see did one mistake there, but it's, you know, it's still like by far the most accurate way of Doing face detection in Android that, or, or like anywhere else that I know, and that works like in uh, my me and my friends app. So yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that you know you have some uh, really really cool ideas on how to implement face detection. If you do, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you if you're enjoying this video and you would like to support me, some ways to do that are in the description. Thank you. Uh, so much if you do also do not forget to subscribe because you know that's serious and new cool parts are coming out like almost every other day or so hopefully and so don't forget to subscribe to, so that you kind of wouldn't miss this new uh, cool parts uh, also smash that like button likes are like uh, oxygen I guess to me because it's you know really really cool to see that you guys are getting value out of these videos and are you know enjoying this format and yeah that i'm like not wasting my time and stuff so smash that like button if you've enjoyed this and subscribe smash the like button yeah i think we're kind of here so and i hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and that you're gonna have an even more fantastic tomorrow and the week after that so bye